The tank is now complete and in the end it all comes down to creating something that we ourselves are happy with and something that works well for our fish. Now I really enjoyed working with this tank and I think this turned out really really good. I do think this will give good function for the pike. It has a lot of open swim area for it and it also has a little bit more densely planted areas where the pike just can stand and wait for food. And now it's time to release the pike into its new home. Now the pike is a little bit stressed, so I'm gonna leave it alone, I'm gonna let it adapt to its new environment, and in a couple of days I'm gonna try feeding it. I'm also gonna talk a little bit about this fish. I'm gonna give you some information, and I'll show you how it behaves. This is the northern pike, or the Isox lucius, and this is an ambush predator. It has its favorite spots in here where it just stands and waits. It's not really an active swimmer, so most of the time it's just standing and waiting, so this tank should be good for quite a while. This fish has the potential to grow really, really big, but it depends very much on the genes and where they come from, really. Also, the females tend to become much, much larger than the males. I feed mine with the frozen fish, so every time it's starting to get hungry, every time I come in then, it will stand and wait and beg me to throw in a fish for it. Otherwise, it's just standing still, digesting the food, or just chilling in the tank. It should be kept alone though, because this will strike at anything that swims by, even very large fish, and they also eat their own kind. I do like them though, they are quite beautiful. It's really interesting to just sit and look at it. Normally you might not do an aquascape with a big fish like this, but since this is a pike, it doesn't really move that much, it doesn't shove things around, so uh, this actually works pretty good with this fish. And I will of course include some feeding in this video, so uh, here we go, let's feed it. This is a very chill fish. But caution needs to be taken, because if this mistakes my hand for food, it will definitely strike at my hand. And I can assure you that's not a good thing. They have quite big teeth. This is the last part of this little series, so I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're new to my channel and want to know how I did this aquascape, you can always go back and watch the other videos. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button, this really helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you next time.